Okay, so we are back with Bob and Eliza in their foster family in wintertime in Willow Creek, and we are going to go ahead and um, adopt a child. So let's go ahead and do that. Bob's doing something. Eliza's not doing anything. So we will hire a service. Hire a child? No, that's wrong. Uh, but in the last episode, I spent a long time just setting this, this Let's Play up. And now we're going to go ahead and sort of start their foster family like we wanted to. So we were sort of thinking, or I was thinking, do we want to do toddlers or do we want to do children? Now, I'm sort of leaning more towards starting with a child and maybe getting toddlers at some point, maybe not. Um, but we'll see. I mean, this is just meant to be really relaxed kind of gameplay. So nothing too crazy. I think we're going to go with Presley just because it reminds me of Elvis Presley and I really like the name. Um, all right. So Eliza's gone to do that. Now, Bob is, he's got a gig actually that we got him. So he's got to chat with the client. So we'll get him to do that while Eliza's gone out. Yeah, does he like video gaming? No, I mean, I don't want him to dislike video gaming, but it's not really a priority for me right now. So, he can chat with the client while Eliza is out. And I guess we're going to have an addition to the family. Our first foster child. <gasps> Eliza Pancakes is brewing in a home and no family member. Yes, she is. Okay, Presley Pancakes. Great. Welcome to the house, Presley. Can I take family leave? Really? Is that a glitch? <laughs> or do we actually want to take family leave? Um, but I guess we can assign her this bed uh, to Presley. And we need to... Uh, is this a defender light? Or... Uh, I'm not sure if it is, actually. I want to make sure she that Presley has the Defender Light so that she doesn't have those monsters uh, crawling from under her bed. Is this Kid's Wall Light? Is this it? Kid's Wall Light. Uh, no. We want a Defender Light, so we'll just get her one of these. Okay, now what else do kids need? Um, some kind of toys. There's already uh, a dollhouse in here. We might also want to get Presley a... Well, just some things she can do. Like, whatever we get, other kids can use when they join the household too. So it's not, like, necessarily for her. But we'll get a violin. And we'll get one of these... Uh, like sciency tables and we want to also get oh is the oh right the machine is out here which is kind of bad because then you have to go through the kids room to get there um yeah I don't like that maybe the machine what's it called <laughs> treadmill <laughs> we'll put it uh, out here because, yeah, I didn't realize that. That's actually a balcony uh, through the kids' room. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not keen on that. I mean, she can use it. That's fine. But, like, I don't want anybody else to use it. I'm going to get rid of this because it's, like, just taking up unnecessary space. Um, I want to get a Void Critter Station thingo. Ooh, the black one looks cool. Black and orange. All right. So we can put that in her room as well. And then... I might actually just move that here. Violins there. And we also want to get um, maybe just one of these activity tables as well to go to go here or something. Just one that like all the kids can use. Alright. I think that's fine. So she's got some things to do. So that's really good. So this is assigned to Presley. Now, she is a grade school C student. Now, how long is it going to take her to age up? She's got 54 days. That's heaps. So we can afford to uh, have quite a few kids at one time. 
She doesn't have school today, I guess, because it's um, already like school time. But uh, we'll get her to do her homework. So Bob can come back up here and write a book, can write a children's book. Okay, so he can work on that. Um, now, Eliza's audition is going to be, when is it? On Thursday. So that's tomorrow. And then I guess the gig maybe wouldn't be till like two days after, till Saturday. So that's the only bad thing with the actress career. So or the actor career. So when we get the opportunity, we could probably um, use her points, her like fame points or whatever it is to like get the reward that you can skip the auditions. I think that would be good. Pat the Badger. Uh, no, let's call it um, Jemima, Jemima the Giraffe. Why not Giraffe? Okay. So he's doing that. Um, now, Eliza, ah, we're already good friends, heartfelt compliment, and I need to go work on my guitar skill. Oh, admire my new possession first, and then practice. Priorities. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, where did she already put down her school book somewhere? Oh, she's got it in her hand, that's good. But she should really come inside. Yep, good. She's going to go talk to Bob a little bit, which is good. They can get up there. Oh, we have a teen in need of a foster family. Are you available to take care of the kid? I mean, I'm kind of busy, but yeah, I'll come over straight away. <laughs> it's like, I like how it works. You don't have to go through and cancel all the interactions. Um, usually, like it queues up really nicely to be the next thing or it just does what it, it did then and it just cancels everything and they just leave. So it's sort of good how it manages it um, itself. All right, so Presley's doing her homework. Eliza is working on her guitar skill and Bob is bringing home a foster child, a foster teen, potentially to join the household. Um, oh, she's really cold. Oh, we should get a thermostat. I know it makes uh, the bills more expensive, but I think it would be Good. I think it's like a small price to pay for like um, getting rid of all the negative buffs that come from not having one. So, or I could just change her into her cold weather outfit, but I'm not going to do that. All right, set to warm up. Do that now so that uh, Presley can get rid of her, Ooh, get rid of her buff. All right, practice. Um, Wait, is this the team? Did he just run away? Or is this the team? Oh, it's another girl. I was sort of, I don't want to have all girls. What about some boys? <laughs> Fernanda Tatum. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Let's get to know her a little bit. Um, friendly introduction. I mean, I'm sort of like undecided too. Do I just kind of want to force myself to accept every foster child that we get because I'm a little bit picky as well with that like even when I play by myself like you know sometimes I'm looking for a particular uh gender or something like that you know if I already have too many boys or too many girls in the house not because I have a favorite just because they try to keep it even so I mean as long as she's not like evil or anything but maybe maybe we should you know not really use that as a deciding factor um also another thing with this is I think if you don't welcome them into the home, then they leave. Um, and you don't need to, oh, she's a genius. You don't need to like decide to add them to the household straight away. They can just, they don't add to your household if you welcome them to the foster family. They just kind of hang out here. Um, for how long that part, I'm not sure about because I've never welcomed into the household a foster child who I haven't adopted like almost immediately. So... Let's see, should we, should we just add her to the, the family? <laughs> go and take a shower, go and use the toilet. Um, should we adopt her? Should we adopt her? Ah, uh, something, I think I was really, um, have my heart set on like it being a, a boy the next time so that we can have even. 
Um, so I think what we're going to say is I'm going to send her home because I don't want to kind of, this is what I didn't want to play like the foster child challenge because I would set all these rules for myself and I really didn't want to do that this time. So, um, I think we're going to stick with, you know, just taking it easy in, in this let's play. So we, uh, sent her home because we are looking for, um, for a boy to add to the house. So write the book. He's got to write his children's book so he can do that. Hopefully before he falls asleep. Oh, Anna Liza reached level two of the guitar skill. That's great. Recommended skill. All right. Now we have no food in the house probably. So we might get her to cook. So she probably doesn't have any cooking skill, I'm guessing. Uh, so we'll start with something basic. Let's go a big serving, family serving of eggs and toast. Uh, good night, nightlight. That sounds like a horror book. <laughs> like, um, I think we have to, we'll do Jemima the Giraffe again because I think it didn't save because he, he like quit writing the book. Um, it sounds like a horror story, like the nightlight's not working anymore. So like enjoy the darkness. All right, Presley. Now, Daddy's busy. I guess do we say Daddy? I mean, I guess. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I think we have to probably go into Cass um, and edit the relationships. And I'm not going to do that, like, straight away for every kid. But we can do it, like, once we have a few. You have to edit that, like, Eliza and Bob would be, like, mother and father. Make you feel a silly face. And then... What's your aspiration? Play on a jungle gym. Achieve level two motor skill. Hmm. Okay. Should we get... I don't think there is a swing set on our lot. Okay. I guess we're buying a swing set. So it would have been kids. Is it furniture, toys, miscellaneous? Not a swing set. A... um. Is this called a jungle gym? Monkey bars? No, monkey bars. Jungle gym is the big, the big one. So we'll get her some monkey bars so that she can go on there. So play on the jungle gym while playful. Okay. But she needs to achieve level two of the motor skill. So she can go and do that and leave Bob to write his book. Eliza is cooking so that we have a stock of food in the fridge. So, okay, that's good. And do we have an outdoor bin as well? We do around the side. Uh, we have a child available. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> um, coming over right away. Uh, I can't, can I grab it? All right, it's not letting me grab it. So I guess that food's going to go off unless somebody doesn't eat it. Are you hungry? No. Are you hungry? Yes, but you're busy. How many hours will it keep for? I don't know. All right. Let's see. Eliza should be gone. Oh, she didn't go. Wait, did she come back already? I don't think she even went. Did it cancel? Um, stop. Who's this? All right. Okay. So it, it didn't work that time. That is actually the first time that's happened. Oh, wait, no. Is this? No, this is Presley. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, nice. And where did the food go? What just happened? All right. Cool. Well, get leftovers then, uh, since that's not working. Um, now Presley, why don't we also get her to work on some of her other skills? So we'll get her to experiment here. He's writing the book. Eliza is going to eat. Um, and we'll see. That was so weird. I'm not sure what just happened with, like, things. <laughs> okay. We need to get some more light in this place, too. Uh, when I first was deciding, do I want to move them into this lot? And was having a look at it. I was thinking that it looks so dark in here. Um, or just a bit, not dark, but like, I don't know, just a bit shady. 
All right. Come on, Bob. Finish the book. All right, Eliza has finished. Now we want her to also probably work on her acting skill. So she can work on that at the same time. Um, you know, I like to have a few skills that like each different sim are working on so that when we do have like these spots in the gameplay, like where they don't need to necessarily be doing anything else, there's like a good focus on what they could be doing instead. So I, I find that I tend to kind of decide, okay, this sim will work on these two or three skills and so on and so on. All right, Eliza, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Thank you, Jenny Nieto. Thank you very much. Now, we're just waiting for Bob to finish his children's book here. He's working away, working hard. Okay. What an achievement. All right. We want him to send that to the client. So what do you have to do? Get book approved. So if I click on it. Uh, sent a client for approval. All right. Um, great. So we got a really good, a really good uh, feedback. Really good feedback from that. So that's fantastic. Now, Bob, where are you? Did you go eat or can I? There you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, go have something to eat. All right, now why is she uncomfortable? Oh, she needs to go to the toilet. Yeah, go do that. That's fine. Now, Eliza's needs are pretty good. He probably will go to bed after he eats. Uh, and I think that's fair enough. I mean, he just completed a gig, you know. And we'll get him another gig pretty much straight away. No, 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 no. Up to bed. Not napping. Sleep. Um, We'll get him a gig, like, for tomorrow anyway. Now, Eliza, she's still not tired. Presley is good. I think I'm going to send her back to experiment. I wouldn't mind um, her working on her skills a bit more. And Eliza is about to reach, I think, level two. Yes, she did. All right. So we'll get her to use the toilet. Her social is a bit low, so we could get her to go and socialize a bit with um, Presley, about half a compliment and make funny faces and brag about possessions. Um, and she hasn't been to school yet, so I'm not going to ask her about school. That would just seem like nonsensical. Yes, yes, social going up. That's what I want to see. And she acquired the parenting skill, which is apparently, of course, very good. Um, we could also, Eliza is not super tired yet. We could get her to record a video. So how much add on components? I would get a ring light. Okay. Um, it's a thousand. I mean, we can afford those, but we don't need to straight away. But we could have recorded a video. So let's do fashion tips. I feel like she'd be up for that. All right, now go record a video. Now, now, do it. Great. She's getting a little bit tired. So Eliza will record there. And then, now you can't cook, but, but you can get leftovers. All right. She can get leftovers. So I think, her, what was her trait? She was a genius. Yeah, that's pretty all right. It's easy to work with. And then once she eats, we can get her, I guess, to come to bed as well. Yep. And sleep. And Eliza can finish recording her video. So her edition is tomorrow, but she's already prepared for that, which is really good. It was only guitar level two, so. Uh, fashion tips video. Um, you want to keep it simple, yeah. Fashion tips video, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, view video inventory, quality poor, edit video. 
What skill does this? Media production. Okay, yeah. It is media production. I thought so. So when she edits that, I guess we'll get her to go to bed. Um, yeah, I'm really glad that I chose for them to do gig gig work because otherwise it would just be too crazy to just try and do everything all at once. Okay, well we can't we can't upload it anymore. We're only level one in media production, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> we have to deal with it as it is. The videos will get better with time, I presume. Uh, with higher skills. All right, and we're off. So with the void critestation, uh, I was thinking, do do you have to buy something at the computer for that? Is there like a void? Was it void critter like card packs that you have to buy? I think it is. So she is a bit smelly, which is fine. We'll get her to take a shower. Take a thoughtful shower because she's a genius. She would really like the thoughtful shower. Oh, Bob's awake too. Hey, Bob. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's not going to go here, is he? He is. No, 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 no. Uh, no, he's not going to go to university. Uh, Bob, you're going to have to go downstairs, mate. Sorry. Uh, also take a brisk shower. Oh, what was that sound? Did something break? No, I don't think so. So she's fine. We'll also to get her to just go to the toilet while she's here. Um, and she can go and play on the jungle gym as well before she goes to school. And for Bob, we will get him to acquire the cooking skill. Not bake. No. He could make like, can he make salad yet? Probably not. Uh, that would be good only if he's trying to ooh, do some weight because yeah, like I said, he's going to be really sedentary, like being at the computer all the time. Ex um, so he won't be exercising or, you know, in the chef's job, at least he is moving around more, but uh, not so much in this one and being at home all the time, as uh, I'm sure other people might've experienced, you know, <laughs> you maybe move uh, a little bit less. So we'll get him to do that. Then find a gig. Let's do that. So he's level two, I guess, now. Now I'm looking at the cash. I'm like, of course, want the most cash possible at the moment. Wow, some of these are like really high. Ooh, 430. Marketing intern seeking experienced copywriter. Well, we're not really experienced. <laughs> um, but we're going to do it anyway. Write a marketing copy. Okay, and then get marketing copy approved. Nice, we can do that. All right, she's fine, I guess. No. But if she makes a mess, then we can practice our parenting skill uh, and discipline her a little bit. Yes, I think that's a good idea. All right. So. Whoop. Oh, wait, did she clean it up or is just buried in the snow now? Probably. Let's, let's do. Has he acquired the parenting skill? He has, yeah. Uh, discipline recent behavior. I feel like he'd be calm. Just ask nicely. Don't make a mess, please. I don't know whether it would be effective, <laughs> but I mean, he's going to do it anyway. You know, I feel like it goes with his uh, persona. Okay. And she starts school in about an hour. She didn't get any bad buffs from that. So I'm, I'm really happy. She seems pretty good. Uh, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Well, we have one option. Spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so she's pretty good. We can leave her to, like, do her own thing while we... Ooh, energize workout. He is energized. So let's... Is this going to make his fun go down? Let's see. Um, yes, I'd say he apparently does not like working out. Now, Eliza's... Um, Eliza's audition starts in an hour. I was going to say edition. So we can get her to quickly have some leftovers before she heads off to that. Presley has gone to school and hopefully I would love to get a, another notification today from the foster family network um, if possible. Oh, she only got to partly eat it. That's okay. 
we'll save the rest for later. And is that broken or is it just, oh, there's just a puddle on the floor. Okay. All right, so Presley's at school. We'll get her to make some friends while she's there. Now, Bob can go mop this up. And then we'll get him to um, do some freelance stuff. Write marketing copy. I think these are pretty quick to write, so we'll just queue up three since he has to do three of them. And at some point I would like to do some gardening. Like on this lot, there doesn't seem to be a lot of room for possibly a garden, but maybe we can get some plans at some point. Um, I would like Eliza to maybe do the flower arranging skill. I think that would be really fun, but um, we kind of need to have room to grow the flowers and also have the time to like work on, you know, tending to the garden okay uh so she passed her audition which is good now she can go to the toilet and we'll have a look develop your guitar skill and develop your charisma skill okay and the gig is tomorrow that's good okay so he's writing marketing copies she's going to oh writing complete give it a title so the client knows what to call it um Call it Jamboree. Okay. Now she needs to develop her charisma skills. So what if we get her to practice speech in the mirror while she's already standing there? Um, I wonder if it's just develop your charisma skill. Is that like you have to reach a certain level or not? Oh, okay, right. So that's that's done. Now she can go and have some fun. Maybe she can go, what does she want to do? What do you want to do? Oh, we could build some in the snow. How about uh, make a snow angel and build a snow pal? Or could she not do that right here? Is there room at the front to do it? Like build a snow pal, uh, make a snow angel. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute. <laughs> Uh, nice. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, now he is always finished his second marketing copy. And, oh, okay, uh, we'll call it Jamboree. How about uh, Jingle, Jinglery? Oh, is this, isn't this our friend? Um, deep conversation. Are you, I, I need some social. Do you want to hang around? Make funny faces. Uh, do you want to just chat with me? Hang out? It would be great. I love Eliza's uh, snooty walk. Why are we going all the way over here to chat? Okay, we're going on the tracks. Isn't this potentially uh, suicidal? Um, okay, look, you know, uh, I I'm not okay with um, just hanging out on the tracks here. Um, let's, let's just go and practice. I'm just going to bail and go practice my guitar skill. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and Bob, Bob, Bob. Finished your marketing. All right, press is done. She didn't meet anybody today, but that's okay. Her needs are really good, so we'll get her to do her homework straight away and then wait for Bob to finish his. Next marketing copy. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny expressions. <laughs> Annie reached writing level four already. My goodness. Uh, so we had jamboree. We had jingle uh, re. Let's call this jangle re. Jangle re. Um, now I think we didn't. No, no, no. I think we didn't actually talk to the client yet. Chat with the client. Uh, we've written three marketing copies, and now we have to also get them approved. So. 
Send to client for approval. Send to client for approval. Send to client for approval. And that should be like sweet money. Uh, real easy. Okay. Can she do extra credit yet or not? She's feeling really... Can she do extra credit? No. Let's get her though to... Child. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say practice the logic skill. Who was that for? Oh, okay, so that was for Bob. So he's hopefully this is going to work this time. He's going to go and uh, see if there's a little child that can join our household. Bye, Bob. Enjoy. And Eliza is preparing for her, her audition tomorrow, which she's already actually ready for. Nice. So maybe she can join the game and play with Presley. Oh, this is so nice. Wait, why is she embarrassed? And why is... I mean, I don't mind that she's here, but like, does she have a residence key or something? She just... No? She's just, uh, turning up. Alright, alright. Wait, he needs fun. Why is she tense? Ah, oh, stressful school day. Okay. Um... Who do we have here? Yes. Second addition to the house coming up, Ernest Lowry. Yes, it's on. It's done. It's done. Friendly introduction. Yes, Jenny, you can go. If she just enters our house again one more time, I, I'm going to be real annoyed. I didn't actually invite her over. Bye, Jenny. Um, get to know. How about it? Get to know. He's a glutton. Interesting. I haven't played with that trait before. <laughs> um, well. Foster family. Adopt foster kid. Yes. Yes, I do. <gasps> Anna's pancakes. We're already at two kids. Nice. All right, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to save... And then we'll hop into Cass and just uh, edit those relationships, those household relationships. So, no, 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 no. What? Excuse me, I was trying to do something. All right, modifying Cass. So we'll edit those relationships so that um, Bob and Eliza are officially the parents and that the kids are like brother and sister. Okay, so mother and father, uh, we'll make him a brother, and they automatically came up as mother and father there. Okay, because in my save game, um, they don't always come up as mother and father, they just come up as, like, a, a, like an unknown sort of relationship, like household member like this. So I'm a bit surprised. Um, he also has the motor skill... Trait. I was, I mean, aspiration. I was sort of hoping for a different one, but I mean, I guess that sort of makes it a bit easier. Now, we'll just quickly. I'm sure her outfits are all good. I mean, yeah, it's okay. I'm not sure about the shoes. About something else. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, yeah, loving it, loving it. Um, all right. Now, I'm not sure about the glasses. I find it weird that she's not wearing glasses in her everyday outfit, and then she is with the, um, oh, no, 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 with the, um, formal wear. Like, I, I never quite have understood that. All right. Um, no, where's the, I just want to take off the glasses, but there, wait, she had earrings on as well. Maybe we could put on some cute earrings. Okay, so... I think that's fine. Maybe some these shoes are they comfy? I hope so. As long as she's comfortable. Um, mm, what is this outfit? How about we put on um just some like trackies or something? Trackies. Ooh, they're nice. Sure, sure, that's fine. Sleep, uh, I'm okay with, but maybe just change the jumper to something like a little bit brighter. 
Um. Yeah. Okay. Party outfit. What? What is this? I don't. I'm not understanding these kids' outfits. Is it just me? Like, what am I getting wrong here? You know. I'm like, I don't hate this outfit, but I don't love it either. I'm. I'm like it with a lot of the kids' stuff, though. Uh, in general. What if we give her like a few outfits then? No. Ooh, and oh, I, I actually really like that on her. That's really nice. We're gonna keep that. And some red shoes. Uh, I changed my mind. I don't like these pants. Yep, done. Athletic is kind of alright. Uh, blue. Yeah. Don't mind. Ooh, I actually really like that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, you know what? Fine. Hot weather. Um, two, three. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I like that. I'm not good for the top, only because I don't agree with um, kids showing so much skin. Uh, it's a bit weird for me. It just seems like why. Um. Ooh, pretty unicorns! Yay! Love unicorns! Uh, maybe we'll give her another hot weather outfit. What is there in full body? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, could do. I don't love it, but it's fine. Two, three. One. Oh, yes. Those shoes are boss. Nice. And this I'm actually okay with. Um, I don't like that the shoes don't match. Uh, that's the only thing. So I'm just going to change the shoes. Nice. Okay, I'm Presley. Presley over here. I like this outfit. I don't understand the shoes. But uh, I will let them be if we just change the color so that it's sort of less clashy. So there we go. All right. Now, but what else? What else can we uh, give you, Ernest? I almost forgot his name. Yeah, I like that. Nice. One, two, three. Yeah, cool. Now, uh, big boots. No. One, two, three. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Imagine going to school in those. Um, I feel like they're a bit too nice. One, two, three. Only because I don't want him to uh, become materialistic. I'm not sure yet. Maybe he, he will be later on, but uh, not yet. One, two, three. One, two. Do they come in blue? If they do. I mean, they're okay. I kind of like those. That's nice. All right. Um... Well, maybe he has some ties to the island, so I'm okay with that. I just kind of wish there was like a t-shirt or something uh, to go with this. How about this? Like, I'm okay. If he has ties to the island, like, this makes sense. And we're just going to say that he does. Um, and maybe take off the shoes. Or maybe we should have some shoes, like, just in case. What about? What about? Dark ones? I actually like these ones, yeah. And we'll get him another uh, outfit as well. Yeah, one, two, three. I actually really like the pink. Oh, look, he looks so sharp. All right. Now, athletic. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Sleep. Uh, I think we'll just give him some more interesting slippers. Maybe, how about the blue? For this, have a green. Have a green. Okay. All right. I'm not sold on the top. One, two, three. No, the sloth was so cute. Yes. Yes. Um, This is actually a really nice outfit for party. But let's see if we can give him another one as well. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Oh, I love it. I love it. He looks really good in cardigans. One, two, three. One, two, three. I mean, yeah, they're a bit boring, but like, it's fine. They're just standard pants. And maybe now we can bring out like the the good shoes, you know, 
mum and dad are like, you can wear your best now. <laughs> Save them for good occasions. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yep, fine with that. And this is quite similar to his um, everyday. So maybe we'll just change. Yeah, let's get this. This is nice. I actually really like this. Uh, I'm okay with the hat. He obviously really likes those shoes. Uh, it's all good with me. It's all good with me. All right, now we have um, gotten an extra sim into the house today, which has been really good. And um, Eliza has... Has she gone to the gig yet? But anyway, she's almost there. Bob's working on his gigs. It's going really good. Um, but yeah, I might... He's actually... What we'll do before we sign off, we'll just get him to officially um, finish this this gig so oh and we need to assign a bed to um Ernest chat with client and he can send these off into client and then um I wonder is this a toddler bed or is that like for kids like he he deserves a better bed um how much is this one 411. Like to make it even, why don't we just get him a similar bed but different color? How about just like a blue? Oh, that's like kind of matches with our one. I don't like that. All right, here we go. So this can be for Ernest. Assign bed to Ernest. And also, I'm going to go back because guess what I forgot? I forgot to get. Uh, one of those monster lights. Now the problem is that if we hire more kids, um, we're going to run into the problem that we don't have enough. All right, so they're down here in the kitchen that we don't have enough um, beds for all of them. We've still got a double room over here. So for example, if we had two teens, we could get them to share and uh, Presley's room is a little bit bigger than Ernest. Like we could even get the kids to double up. And now that there's bunk beds in the game as well, that makes it a lot easier in terms of space wise. Like I don't mind if they have to share rooms. Um, I just want to make sure that there's enough space to do that without sort of cramping them in. Okay. Did he? No, he's not doing anything that I ask him to. <laughs> Come on, Bob. So that's a sign to Ernest. Good. All right. Let's go. All right, chat with the client. Yes. All right, so now he's actually listening, which is good. And let's send these finally for the third time to get approved by the client as well. Yes, yes, yes. Great, exactly what we're looking for. Nice. Uh, Bob, this ad campaign is brilliant, way better than my original scratch and sniff idea. The client was thrilled. My boss was satisfied. Best of all, the firm offered me a full-time job. Uh, you're talking to a marketing assistant now. I'm so grateful here. Take my spring bon signing bonus as an extra thank you. Nice. All right. Well, I guess uh, that's done. Next time we'll get him another gig, etc., etc. Um I'm really having fun with this. It's a lot more relaxed. It's a lot more easygoing and slow-paced. Um, so I hope that, uh, if you watch this, you've enjoyed it as well. And I will see you next time for our, I guess, if I've called it pancakes, uh, foster family, let's play.